What is up everybody? It's Sam Coleman with IS Luxury Real Estate here in Las Vegas, coming to you from Kensington Manor in Centennial Hills. A nice cul-de-sac with just four homes in the community, large estates stepping into the future. This home behind me is sitting on a 22,000 square foot lot. It's 7,112 square feet, six bedrooms, eight bathrooms. It's an incredible home with guest quarters, has a three car garage, so many amenities. And as always, if you wanna check out homes like this or any other homes in the Valley, feel free to give me a call. My number is 702-883-7845. Thank you to our partners and everybody who sponsored us and Forbes community. Thank you guys so much. Come in, check out this home and don't forget to like and subscribe, drop a comment. So before we get into the main home, this is a casita attached to the property. As we come in, a guest, mother-in-law, boomerang kid, um, an angry spouse, somebody could stay in this space. And it's a really good size room. Most casitas, especially here in Vegas, you don't get um, a custom feel in a casita like you do in this. This is an entire, like mini apartment in some places. Maybe you're from like New York or California where spaces are small this would be like a one bedroom apartment in some places. So it's attached to the home, but the entrance is only from outside. So if you are out of town and you're on vacation, but you have someone that wants to stay at the house, they have their own entrance. You can drop them a key. They can come in. They have, you can put a kitchen in here. They got a little dining room, it has its own bathroom, walk-in closet, a living area, and then obviously your bed. And this is only from the outside. So now we're gonna go inside of the home. So welcome in. This incredible home, as I said, steps into the future. And here's why. You're gonna have equipment for electric vehicle. You're gonna have control for system. You're gonna have all types of automation where you can come into this home, move in ready, and you don't necessarily have to do anything. Before we get into the backyard, you're gonna see the pool's empty, but you can choose your own pool tile. Um, it hasn't been plastered yet. You can choose your own pebble tech or whatever type of pool equipment um, that you will wanna see out there, whether it's a tile, a large format tile, plaster, concrete, it's, it, the world is your oyster. You can choose whatever, but the home is ready for you. So on the main floor, you're gonna find a few things. You're gonna find your primary bedroom, your drop zone, the three car garage entry, a pool bathroom with access to the backyard, additional laundry room that's right off the primary bedroom. You have your formal dining room. You got your kitchen with a hidden pantry, a bar, a wine storage area. You got an office, even with a bedroom and bathroom attached to it. So you don't have to use it as an office if, if you don't want to, you could use the casita, but it has a bedroom and bathroom and a walk-in closet attached to it as well. Upstairs, you're gonna find a loft, three additional bedrooms, and an additional laundry room. So much living space, 7,100 square feet. As we start going through it, I'm gonna point out some of the key features and I really hope you guys enjoy the tour. If there's anything that you may wanna see more of in this home that maybe I didn't highlight, drop a comment and I can do it in a YouTube short and highlight that feature. And as always, again, like, subscribe and drop a comment. Let's go start with the office area. So we're in the office. Again, we're on the main floor. You're gonna see the large format tile all the way throughout with no carpet, or carpet on this main floor. We're in an office, but how I said, this is a door into the bathroom, walk-in closet. So you have a tub shower combo here. You have everything that you need to make this a guest quarter space. It has a door on it. So I could shut this door and come around on the other side. And now as a guest, I could shut this door. And while I'm out of town or on vacation, or maybe I'm on the whole other side of the home, maybe you have a teenager, they want their own space. This whole entire side of the home could be for that person. Now, if you're like me, you like to entertain, you're having a party, you have this incredible bar space area that looks out into the backyard. It has a huge window. So if you are having a party or something, you could pass through, you can make your drinks, go out there, have a good time with a pool. You have a sink here. So it's an actual wet bar. You got all this counter space. You got an ice maker. You got a uh, wine refrigerator, beverage refri refrigerator, a dishwasher, all the cabinet space that you need. And literally, two, three, maybe four people can be back here at the same time. So maybe you, if you hire a caterer, you can have people on one side doing things, somebody over here making drinks and mixologists. The world's your oyster, people. It's a great space. Now, you got quartz countertops, 
I personally like the quartz. We're going to see a, a lot of design trends in 2023 with quartzite, a lot of movement in a lot of the slabs. It's one of the uh, popular trends from 2022 that's carrying over to 2023 along with like checkered flooring and things like that. But I love the selection on the quartz here. Now, as we come into the main living space, that's also on the, uh, on the downstairs as well from your front door, a thing to note, you have a gas fireplace, but something different as well. You have a large format tile rather than full slabs of like quartz that we've seen over the last several years as well. Nice touch is still very clean. You have a TV mount area. It's lighter, so it doesn't have to be supported. So if you're maybe remodeling a home and you're like, man, I really want a feature like this, but I don't want to spend two, $3,000 on a slab. This may be a good way for you to go and do a large format tile with the TV supported there because the slabs aren't as heavy and it still gives you that same look. It almost looks exactly like the countertops. It's quartz, but it's just a large format tile. So you'll also see out here, you can get access right to the backyard. It's so much natural light. And as I come into the kitchen, you have a couple of things that you'll notice. So much usable storage and counter space. This L-shaped island is gonna provide all the cabinets, soft clothes, flat panel, good quality, good quality cabinets, and all the way through with the same quartz that we saw in the bar, but then now you have a utility sink or a prep sink, a vegetable sink, uh, a sink that you can use maybe if you're cleaning, cutting meat, something like that, and you have dishes in the other sink. Now you have the opportunity to say, all right, I'm gonna cook over here, I'm gonna cut whatever I'm doing here, and I don't have to necessarily do that with this sink. And I'm looking out the window, I got a great view, checking the pool out, making sure the kids are okay, and I have all this usable space, all this counter space under cabinet lighting, large stacked cabinets to the ceiling. And you're gonna see Gaginal appliances, highly upgraded. I love the six burner cooktop. It gives you so much space and so much room where you don't feel like you're on top of maybe your spouse. And me and my wife, we like to cook together. Maybe you and your spouse or your partner like to cook together. You sometimes feel like, man, there's no elbow room. You got plenty of elbow room here. And Gaginal refrigerator as well. In this refrigerator, you have a side-by-side -side and it's camouflaged. I love this faux cabinet panel that makes it feel like it's a part of the cabinets. And obviously they're stacked to the ceiling. So if you want to put your decorative items up there, just call me, call Sam, I'm 6'10". I'm the only one that can get up there anyway. So it's kind of like, if I buy this home, if you buy this home, you gotta, I come with it because I'm the one that's gonna get up there for you. And last but not least in the kitchen, the hidden pantry. This is freaking awesome. This is like a whole nother room. I mean, come on. You got your appliance garage. You can put anything in there. Anything can go in there, including me. <laughs> now in the formal casual dining, as I like to say, um, most formal dining rooms are in a separate part of the home. It is a little separate. It gives you uh, the feeling that is not attached to where the main living area is and like most modern homes it's set aside by itself it has this gorgeous backdrop with the wine area you have it's temperature controlled and it has these double doors on it i love how the grandness of it it's so like literally this makes me feel small but you got your wine storage here and it provides a great backdrop with the formal dining room area as well Another thing that I like to point out in this particular home is you have the floating stairs here, but they don't look like every other floating staircase that's now called the spine stairs. Maybe you've seen some of the Toll Brothers homes that I've showcased where they had the spine stairs and it almost looks like, man, too many martinis, one glass of wine too much and my heel or shoe gets caught up in there. It's a disaster. Maybe my kid get legs get stuck in there. This is a great alternative. It still gives an open feeling but you don't look like you're gonna freaking kill yourself going up and down the stairs. Again, still downstairs, we're gonna go to the rest of the home with your drop zone, your storage, your pool bath, and the primary bedroom. So we got storage area here, solid core doors, nice hardware, and these are eight foot doors. Again, I'm 6'10", so I feel completely fine in here. So for the average person that's not 6'10", this is gonna really, really feel grand. So you have your three car garage entry coming off 
your three car garage entry. You got your drop zone, all usable storage here. You got your shoe storage. You can put your shoes down there. So much goodness in here. Now, the pool bathroom. You got your sink, come and wash up. Got a shower if you want to hop in before or after you come out of the pool. Got your tiles hanging in here. And now you have access right to the backyard. If you want to go out, hop in the pool, shower, go out, or the reverse, done in the pool. And now you want to wash up because the real party is about to start at the bar over there. You got that too. Now, really great size laundry room. I am literally, I'm standing in here. You got room for your washer and dryer. You got all these uppers, 42 inch upper cabinets, flat panel as well. You got the quartz carry through here in your laundry room, utility sink, and almost like a, a mini linen closet as well. So you have all this space here, plenty of storage. You know, most homes of this size and this caliber, sometimes even in 2020, 2021, we would see homes and it would lack storage. Like, man, a home this big, it kind of feels or it's kind of lacking this or that. So far, I'm not finding anything that this home is lacking. So we're going into the primary bedroom. We're still on the first floor. We're still on the main floor. In here, this room is massive. The large format tile and the high ceilings with the rope lighting just makes this feel like a tranquil place to be, a resort. You're looking out into your backyard, you're looking at the mountains, you have such an incredible view and so much space. If you haven't noticed, I love space. You got sliders on both sides. You don't feel like you're in a fishbowl, but it's still a lot of natural light. Now the primary bathroom, still carrying the quartz, being consistent, still carrying a large format tile, what I love about this primary is all the useful space. You got two toilets. This could save a relationship, people. You got two toilets. His and her toilets, hers and hers, his and his, whatever floats your boat. But then you got two closets, which will also save a relationship. You got two separate vanities that will also save a relationship. And what I really like about it is as you come through this one, this is a smaller one. So I would say that this will probably be mine. Even inside of this closet, Here's your modem. Here's where your Cat 5 or Cat 6 would die, but this would be a great place for a safe. This would be a great place to put a smart cabinet, something like that, where you can have, let's say, your surveillance cameras, things like that. And it's, in, it's out of the way. It's not taking up the useful space of the actual home. Again, we're 7,100 square feet, so you got a room, enough room to put everything you want. Especially if you're a person that has firearms, you want to feel like it's away from your kids. Great place to put a gun safe. Now let's take the journey upstairs. So I've shown you the main floor. Now we're gonna go upstairs. And again, I mentioned it has control four. So you have all these Lutron switches. However, if I wanted to turn off all the lights or turn them all on or um, automate anything in the home as far as thermostats, thing like that, I could do that here. It could attach to an iPad, to a tablet, something that you would use on a daily basis, even on your phone. If you're remote, you wanna control the automation at home. You can do that as well. So we're upstairs now, another wall tablet for your automation. Before we start in the loft, we're gonna go backwards all the way to the opposite end of the upstairs. Because this, I feel like, needs to be in a home that I live in. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a massage room? Like, I wanna feel like I'm on vacation even when I'm not on vacation. So this room is staged as a hybrid workout massage area, but as you can see, it has a bedroom, a bathroom, and a walk-in closet. All of the rooms in this house are en suite, and they all have walk-in closets. So I would leave this as this because, I don't know, I, I have three kids. However, I feel like I need to have a massage room in my house. Like, I'm on vacation. This can go away because I don't like doing cardio. I don't do that but I'll definitely lay here and let my wife rub me down. So now we're gonna go check out the rest of the bedrooms as I catch my breath from walking through this giant home. More storage space. And you'll notice most of the closets, all of the closets here are pretty empty. They're very basic because the developer wanted to give the homeowner an opportunity to do their own thing. So as Rudy backs up a little bit, we're going into the laundry room that's right off the massage area. So if you have um, 
kids or guests or family members that or partners that stay with you, there's a laundry room downstairs and a laundry room upstairs. You got your storage here. You got all this utility, all this linen space as well, and these large uppers. So you don't have to tote your laundry up and down. And people that are doing laundry don't have to go to the laundry that's next to the master bedroom either. Again, this is a guest bedroom and it's still pretty large. You got another walk-in closet. You got another bathroom, tub shower combo with a floating vanity and then another bedroom. So this has a walk-in closet as well, but this has a little Juliet balcony off of it as well. And then as I circle through, you got your tub shower combo, your dual vanity, and then also an entrance from the, from the loft. And then another bedroom with a walk-in closet, with your vanity, floating vanity, and a tub shower combo. Now, my favorite part, we're in the loft. You got surrounding glass everywhere you look. You got mountain views, you got palm trees, you got all this usable balcony space that's not even included in the square footage that wraps around the entire loft. You could have a party up here. This would be a great place to hang out. You got a large, this couch is huge. If you can tell by the scale of the, the size of this room, like this is plenty. This is plenty for entertaining, for hanging out, for gaming. If you have kids that like to game, if you like to game, this is a great place for it. And I mean, I can literally imagine myself sitting here pointing and clicking, gorgeous mountain views, tranquil, and silence. Very, very silent. So as we come into the backyard, again, 22,000 square foot lot, you have a pool right now in Las Vegas, you can only build a pool a certain size. So 600 square feet, including your spa, that started September 1st, 2022. So now we're in 2023, you have this home with this giant pool with a spa and you can't even build a pool this size right now. It's just a little, this is a bit over that 600 square feet. And then with a large lot like this, you have a few opportunities. When I look at this lot, I see a great opportunity. I see a covered patio in addition to the one that we have here. I see an outdoor kitchen, a TV wall, fire pit, outdoor kitchen with a black stone, a brick oven pizza, your, your grill, a smoker for some ribs, pancakes on Saturday morning with eggs, fresh squeezed orange juice, then night comes, you got your fire pit on, a glass of wine, relaxing, enjoying the fruits of your labor, looking at this gorgeous mountain view. And then I see my kids over there playing. You got all that space that I would turn into usable play space for the kids and the adults over here having a good time with a babysitter or a nanny or my mother-in-law, somebody else watching the kids because I need a break. This is amazing. I thoroughly enjoy this. And if I'm being too real, drop in a comment. Like, would you live like this in this house? I'm just being real. This is an incredible home. I love it. You got the power outside, throw a TV on the wall. You got sconces, all this covered patio space. And again, I love how tranquil this area is. I love how quiet in Centennial Hills this is where you have these large estates. And I'm just looking around at how amazing the, the terrain is, how you get the mountains from so many different areas. And when you think about Vegas, you think about desert and wildlife, but you don't get that here. You, you get a real homey feel. It feels like home, but you just have a modern feel to it. And that's why you step in the future on this project. Come on in. All right, so that's it. 9790 Solar out here in Centennial Hills. A great property, new construction, available now at $3 million. It's less than $500 a square foot. And I don't know about you, maybe where you're from, that may be a lot, or maybe it's like, man, that's it, 7,100 square feet for less than $500 a square foot. Where do I sign? Call me, 702-883-7845. Send me an email, sam at isluxury.com. If you wanna see more properties like this or any other homes in the entire valley, please give me a call, reach out to me. And as always, I thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for engaging with me and dropping comments and even sharing it with other people. It's really appreciated. And if you are not subscribed or this is your first time even seeing a video of mine, 
Join a community. I'd love to meet you. I'll see you guys on the next video.